Hey, Dr. C, I got a question. What to do with severe acid reflux? So a couple things. Here's three thoughts to think about. First one is gravity. Many papers have shown that a large driver can just be what time you lay down after your last meal. You know, how soon after your last meal do you lie down? What happens is that how well your lower esophageal sphincter holds things in your stomach is a big driver of how apt you are to suffer from reflux. And when you lie down, gravity is no longer helping to hold things in your stomach and things can move out easier as your stomach moves and churns. So one great trick is looking for a gap of at least three hours or more between last meal and bedtime. Some take it more like four hours, but that's an easy thing to look at initially. Then we think about chronic infections in the stomach. H. pylori had a lot of good data around it. One can test for and eradicate that, and in many cases, resolve reflux. Two more thoughts. One would be thyroid levels. If someone were off, either too low or too high, both can affect the activity of the cells that form acid, and also the activity of the cells that form the buffers that protect against acid. And the last big consideration is that many antacid medications they actually cause a rebound reflux when you stop them. So I've seen a lot of people that certainly had reflux and they were treated for that by acid blocking medications. And then when they go to stop the medication, they find their symptoms are worse than ever. And that's often been misinterpreted as unresolved reflux or a worsening of underlying reflux, when in fact it can just be a rebound reaction. If you block cells that make acid and you stop blocking the cells, they may make more acid than they would otherwise for a period of about two, three weeks. So just know that sometimes there's just a vicious cycle. There are cases too to where people have damaged their esophagus that does really warrant and need ongoing treatment. So a couple thoughts there about reflux.